everybody, Drake here again with episode 3 of Redstone for Hire, and this episode is brought to you by the following commenter, there should be a little screenshot or something on a screen right about now, and he basically wanted a lighthouse or some kind of redstone circuit that was linked up to redstone lamps, so essentially it would give a lighting effect. Now I'm assuming that you wanted a full-fledged lighthouse, which as you can see, I delivered. Now basically I gave this my own twist since there wasn't too much information in your comment or what you wanted, so essentially this system works by turning on as soon as the sun goes goes down so these lights will run all night long as soon as the sun begins to come back up they will shut off and it will stay off so basically it prevents any further lag from happening now the best part about the system is it doesn't use very many resources and also it has a very smooth transitional effect as you can see within the lights a lot of times with these kind of circuits the lights are chunky uh, the redstone doesn't work properly or anything like that and the lighting is just basically really chunky and error looking so uh, the way this one works is though it has a very smooth signal as you can see all the way around is a nice smooth transition between all of the lights and it is quite dizzying after a while to build this lighthouse design you were going to need the following materials and this is not including all of the fluff items that I have here obviously I'm not going to include the bricks that I took to actually build this tower or any of the little stairs and decorations this is just the bare minimum of what you need to build this redstone circuit and then whatever you do with that is completely up to you so these are the the following materials that you will need. You're going to need 66 building blocks of any kind. It can be any kind of block in Minecraft, it just has to be a solid block that you can place redstone and or repeaters on top of. Aside from that, you're going to need 19 pieces of redstone dust, 33 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone torch, 3 sticky pistons, 2 pieces of gravel, 1 daylight sensor, and you're going to need 72 redstone lamps, which is quite a lot. Now, if you don't want this to be a 3 high um, lighthouse, honestly, what I'm talking about here is you don't need 3 rows of lights all the way around as I do here. You can most definitely cut down on resources there. Maybe you just want it to be 1, maybe you just want it to be 2, etc, etc. You get where I'm going with this. It doesn't have to be 3, but honestly, it looks a lot better with 3, and it is built for using 3 lamps. So that choice is up to you. Aside from that, you're also going to need four half slabs of any kind to use around the perimeter. Now, before we go any further, I would like to demonstrate it, obviously, and its functionality. So basically, whenever the time hits around 13,600, which is just when the sun is going over the horizon, this will basically pick up on it using a daylight sensor, and it will essentially do a quick pulse which will begin a redstone signal and it will also lock a block in place that allows the redstone circuit to travel so it essentially just starts a clock going over and over and over again now whenever the sun is actually coming back up on the horizon just as it starts to come up the daylight sensor will pick up on that again it will send a different redstone signal once again a quick pulse and it will basically retract that block up that was originally pushed down to carry over the signal and thus it stops the signal from occurring again so the best way to demonstrate this honestly is just to demonstrate it so I'm just gonna go ahead and set the time like I said the time as you can see I've been typing a lot down there is about uh, 13,600 so once it gets about that time you will see the daylight sensor pick up on it you can see the Sun just going down this will send a quick pulse lock this block in place and then the redstone circuit will actually begin and as you can see it will just run all night long now whenever it gets to I think it is about 23,000 somewhere around that time when the sun's just starting to come back up it will actually stop the redstone clock but just for the tutorial purposes I'm just gonna set it to time uh, 1000 so we'll just do 1000 so the sun is back up and this that did not work actually at all <laughs> time set 1000 so when the sun is back up it will send another quick pulse pull that block up and then the redstone circuit will stop so essentially you can just do this all day this is actually a very good test too if you actually have time to do this so honestly you can just keep setting it over and over 13,600 you'll see that the lights will come on here momentarily there they go it will start the circuit over and over and over again and then once you set a time set 1000 the lights will shortly stop afterwards it will do its quick pulse and pull the block back up Okay, so let's just jump right into building this redstone circuit. So to begin, you want to make a diamond shape, just as you see here. And this is approximately 8x8, eight eight, but um, since it is not an exact square, that's not the real dimensions of it. Technically, it is 4 wide and then 8 long, and then on the sides, it is also 4 wide by 8 long, with just one little block here in each corner to make it a diamond shape. So it's easy if, if you just uh, picture it, even you can pause the video if you want to, it might give you a better idea. But essentially, it's going to be 8 blocks long, 4 blocks wide, 1 in a corner, then 4 blocks wide, 8 blocks long, you guys get the idea. 
All right, so once you have that in place, we can actually go ahead and start putting down the repeaters that we need for all the redstone lamps. So it's easiest for me to tutorialize this if I basically place a block that you guys can use as a reference point as to the front of the design. So I'm going to place a piece of lapis here. That way, at any time in the video, if you're wondering where I'm positioned at in terms of this design, it's easy just to look at this block and know where I'm at. So starting here in the front of the design, you're going to come around the side here, facing out towards this lapis lazuli block, and you're going to place four redstone repeaters. Now starting from right to left you're gonna leave this one with zero ticks put this one on one tick put this one on three ticks and put this one on four ticks now right over to the left of this so we are now facing the right of the design if you're keeping up with that lapis block you're gonna place four repeaters do the same exact thing right to left you're gonna go no ticks one tick two ticks and four ticks same exact thing in the back one tick two ticks and the total ticks and then over here same exact thing no ticks two ticks three ticks and four ticks Okay, once you have all those redstone repeaters in place, you can place down your redstone. So behind each of these four repeaters on every single side, you just want to place four pieces of redstone dust, just like this. Very, very simple. Okay, now on the right side of this redstone dust right here in the front of the design, you want to place another redstone repeater coming off of this redstone dust and put it on full text delay. Now on the back here, right next to this four tick delay, you want to do the same exact thing that we just did there. You're going to place a redstone repeater, put it on full delay, same thing over here next to this four tick, you're going to place a repeater facing away, full tick delay, and same exact thing here next to this one on full tick delay. Okay, now starting here in the front, you want to come behind this piece of redstone dust right behind these two full tick delay repeaters, and you want to place another repeater facing inwards towards the design. You want to place it on full tick delay, and then place another repeater in front of it with a block in front of that repeater. Now, right on the other side of this block, coming off of this redstone dust with the full tick repeaters, you want to do the same exact thing. Repeater, full tick delay, and then repeater with a block. Same exact thing here, you're just repeating this pattern over and over, so full tick repeater, no tick, block, full tick repeater, full, well, not full tick, it's just regular tick repeater, and then a block in front, so it should basically make this little circular, kind of yin-yang looking shape. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and place in the redstone lamps that you need for this design. So to do that, I'm going to move this lapis lazuli block two blocks back. That way you guys still know it's the front of the design, but just so I have some room to work. So basically how these works, um, since redstone lamps themselves are blocks, they can carry redstone signal. So we're going to use this to our advantage. Under each one of these repeaters, you're just going to stack three redstone lamps just like this. If you're going with the three design, as I said, you can go with a singular, in which case it would look like this. Or if you're going to go with a two, it can either be down here or up here just like that but for this tutorial's sake i'm just going to make a three one just as i did over here with this lighthouse so basically the redstone lamps are going to be oriented like this in front of every one so when this redstone lamp is powered it will power the middle lamp which will power the one above and the one below so essentially you're just going to go around your entire design and place your redstone lamps like this and do not forget to put them in here we will be powering that momentarily which i will show you guys how to do but essentially i'm going to go ahead and put in all my redstone lamps and get them out of the way, but just know that this is actually how you do it all the way around the design. Alright, so now that those redstone lamps are in place, we can actually begin the more complicated portion of the design, which is all the redstone circuitry to wire all this, but it's actually fairly simple as long as you follow the design. Uh, it's not hard, it's pretty much just basic redstone concepts, so as long as you have a good idea about what you're doing, it's very easy to follow along. So here on the left side of the design, if you're facing the front, you're going to want to come to this piece of redstone dust and these two redstone repeaters, and you want to place three solid blocks on top of them just like this. And then on the left side, you're going to place two pieces of redstone dust, then place a repeater facing outward with a block in front of it. Now on the other side of this block, right in front of that redstone repeater, you want to place a redstone torch facing outward just like this. So if you're facing the front of the design, this is what it'll look like. Okay, now if you come to the back side of that torch, so we're towards the back side of the design now, and you want to put a block right above this redstone repeater going into this block, and you want to place a repeater facing off of that redstone torch. You want to place a sticky piston right in front of that repeater, so it should be powered. And then you're going to want to place a piece of either gravel or sand. It doesn't matter just so long as the block can fall. I'm just going to use gravel for tutorial's sake, but it can be either or. Okay, next you want to come to the left side of that piston if you're facing the front of the design. And you want to place a solid block just like this, with a redstone repeater facing inwards towards the center of the design. You want to place a block in front of that redstone repeater, and one block below it. Okay, so now we're going to wire up the other sticky piston associated with the system. So you want to come to where this redstone dust is that we originally placed. You want to come to the other side and place a block facing outward with a redstone repeater going the, uh, towards the back of the design. You want to place a sticky piston in front of that redstone repeater facing straight upwards with your piece of gravel on top. 
and then place a solid block on the other side facing inwards towards the middle of the design and have a redstone repeater going into that block that we just placed. Okay, now to finish off the design, you want to come underneath those blocks that we were just messing around with. You want to place a piece of redstone dust directly underneath that block with both repeaters going into it. And then you want to place a sticky piston facing straight downward on the back side of the block that they're both going into. And it should line up directly with this block, which all of these repeaters are leading into. Now, right where this redstone dust is at, you will see this little tiny hole here that is left open. And inside there, you want to place a redstone repeater on full tick delay facing into the block that is underneath this original sticky piston that we placed. So if you were looking at the front of the design, it should look just like this. Okay, so now we're on the final stages of completing this entire design. So the last thing that you have to do is come to this repeater going into the secondary sticky piston here and make sure it is set to full tick delay. I did not originally do that, so I do need to point that out. It is very important to have that on full tick. Now you want to place your daylight sensor next, and it should go directly above this straight line of redstone dust. It cannot go in a corner here, it has to go above this piece, and you will see all these lamps turn on. I will show you how to correct that, there's a slight adjustment you have to make in order to get this entire project working. So as you can see, they're looping around, and this piston over here is going nuts. To simply fix this, you have to come around the back side where this solid block is, remove it, and then replace it underneath that sticky piston once again, and now the design will work flawlessly. So if you set this to your time set, or, you know, if you're in creative mode or survival mode, maybe you can't do that, but basically you just need to replace that block, place it again, and the design will work flawlessly as you see here. And then once you go back to daytime, you will notice that the lights will shut off just like that. Now you may have noticed during the nighttime, however, that some of these lamps here on the side are not lighting up because they're not being innervated. That is where the half slabs come into play at. So you'll notice here, this entire row is not being activated. To fix this, you want to come in between these two sets here in the corner. You want to place your half slab and then place a piece of redstone dust and you will notice that now they are lighting up. So you just do this for each of the four corners of your entire diamond shape, I guess if that's what you want to call it. So choose your half slab, place it right down here with your piece of redstone dust, and you'll notice it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for all the four corners around the entire sides, and I'll do that off camera. Alright, so after I got those half slabs and redstone dust in place, you may notice that the entire design is working flawlessly, just as it should. It will keep looping around all night long, and it will turn off when the sun comes up. Now, from here on in, the design is completely yours. You may do with it whatever you please. You can make it look like a pretty lighthouse, like I've done over here, or maybe you just want to put it in your base for some flashy colors. I honestly have no idea what your intentions are, but best of luck to you from here on in. If you liked the video, please drop me a like down below. If you really liked it, press that subscribe button, favorite and share it with your friends, drop me comments, send me personal messages. If you have some redstone ideas but you don't quite know how to put them on paper, drop me a comment by all means. I love doing redstone for hire videos, I love doing tutorial videos, so please don't hesitate to seek help if you need it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.